Awesome. Hey, thanks so much. Have you. you too. So this is the Insta360 GO 3 action camera. Now, at first glance, I think it looks like pretty much every other action camera, but it does one thing none of the other cameras do. Pops out camera, action pod, and it's a magnet. City has a lot of parks, but outdoor space for the dogs is definitely not one of them. Having space like this, we are so lucky, it makes life so much easier. Enjoying the sun? Enjoy it, because believe it or not, it is supposed to rain in a little bit. didn't go on a walk without you. <laughs> Oops. Now, Insta360 says this is the world's smallest action camera. I mean, I don't think I disagree. I mean, this thing is tiny. I wanna show you a couple cool features right off the bat and how useful this little guy could be. So the action pod is gonna be the main housing in the unit here with the flip up screen. I mean, how great is that for vlogging? So easy, but it gets even better. I mean, this camera's recording right now. I'm totally using this thing as a monitor. I mean, I've never seen any other camera, action cameras especially, that do anything even remotely close to that without a lot of complicated setup. It's a clip. It might not look the coolest, but I think it would definitely work. That's more like it. Nothing like being out and getting attacked by a ferocious dog when you're out on a skateboard. No, I'm just kidding. I think that dog was just looking to play. For such a tiny little versatile camera, this thing packs a huge punch. You can shoot in up to 2.7K. I know it's not 4K. And the funny thing is, the more I use this little camera, the more I find myself shooting in their free frame video mode, which actually only goes up to 14, uh, up to, I should say, 1440 at 50 frames per second. Reason being is one, it looks very similar to the 2.7K video quality. Two, after I'm done, I can go back and make all kinds of changes in free frame video mode, including amazing stabilization in the Insta360 Studio. Well worth it, check it out. This is gonna be the magnetic necklace. Are you feeling sleepy? <laughs> it goes like so, pretty obvious. But if you're like me and you wear a lot of black t-shirts, it's perfect. came in a lot faster than I thought they were. 
actually on the way to my office to grab the dog's raincoats. Yes, they have raincoats, and yes, they absolutely hate them. Now, the interface here on the camera is gonna be incredibly intuitive, very easy to use, and it's gonna feel very familiar if you've ever used any brand of action camera before. You don't need to be a camera expert to use this thing. I mean, it's pretty much ready to go right out of the box. Clouds are looking a little bit ominous and that's absolutely perfect for this video because I want to take this thing outside in the wet, in the rain, in the water. It is 100% waterproof. Ooh, camera, 100% waterproof up to 15 or 16 feet. Action pod, water resistant. Take this one with you swimming all day. Don't take this one swimming with you all day. You're gonna be pretty upset or disappointed. Let's get the dog strapped up. Wait until you see these raincoats. <laughs> Come on. Ah. So that was okay, it was pretty wet up there, but I gotta tell you, it wasn't quite as much rain as I had anticipated or hoped for, so let's just go ahead and do it. I think I just used about a gallon of mouthwash after that. One, I think it's pretty clear the camera is in fact waterproof and it works pretty well. Two, don't ever put a camera in your mouth. Ugh. I think in the case of the Insta360 GO 3, it's pretty safe to say it's a different type of camera. It's a camera probably worth taking a look at. It's definitely a camera that I'm gonna be taking with me anytime I'm shooting anything and it's so small, it's the kind of camera you can bring pretty much everywhere. I think the possibilities for this camera are pretty much endless. Every time I bust it out, I think of some other new and creative way to use it. In my opinion, this camera is definitely something that I'm probably gonna be using on the regular. I think at this point, I'd recommend it. Did you go to Starbucks? Yes. Why didn't they write full product review on your cup? <laughs> 